In this video, you'll learn how to apply a few creative effects to your image. We'll use a filter from the blur gallery to apply a fun tilt shift effect to this scene. We'll employ an adjustment layer to drain the color from the image and then add an artistic color tint. Let's start by putting all the layers into a protective wrapper called a smart object, which enables us to apply an editable filter to all the layers at once and protect the original photo. To do that, activate the topmost layer by clicking it, and then shift click the bottommost layer, and Photoshop activates all the layers in between. Now choose Filter, Convert for Smart Filters, and click OK if you see a message. Photoshop tucks the layer content into the protective wrapper of a smart object so the filter you're about to run happens to the wrapper instead of what's inside. By the way, you can always access your original layers by double-clicking the Smart Object Layers thumbnail in the Layers panel. Now choose Filter, Blur Gallery, Tilt Shift. This filter lets you simulate the look of a miniature village in this image. Here's how it works. To reposition the filter, drag the black and white pin. To control blur strength, use the blur slider in the tilt shift panel on the right side of your screen. Drag right to increase the amount of blur, or drag left to decrease it. To control the size of the in focus area, drag one of the solid lines up or down. To control the size of the blurry areas, drag one of the dashed lines up or down. To rotate the focus area, drag one of the white circles atop the solid line in a circular motion. When you're finished, click OK in the options bar at the top of your screen and Photoshop applies the filter. To experiment with different filter settings, double click the filter's name in the layers panel to reopen it. If you want to hide the filter effect from part of the image, activate the Smart Filter Mask, which is the white thumbnail shown here, and then paint with black or gray. In fact, we did this on an adjustment layer mask in the second video in the series in order to hide part of the adjustment. To delete a filter, drag the filter's name to the trash icon at the bottom right of the Layers panel. I'll choose Edit, Undo Delete Smart Filter to bring that filter back. Another common creative effect is to turn a color photo into a black and white, which you can do using an adjustment layer. To do that, click the half black, half white circle at the bottom of your layers panel and choose black and white. In the properties panel that opens, you can use the sliders to adjust the contrast in the image. For example, to darken the reds in the image, drag the red slider to the left. To lighten the reds instead, drag the slider to the right. To add an artistic color tint to the image, turn on the Tint checkbox. When you do, Photoshop tints the image with light brown, creating a sepia effect. To change the color tint, click the colored square next to the word Tint. In the color picker that opens, click within the vertical bar to choose a range of colors, and then click within the larger box to its left to pick a brightness level. Click OK when you're finished, and then close the Properties panel. As long as you've saved the file in Photoshop format, you can experiment with contrast and color tint later on. To do that, double-click the black and white adjustment layers thumbnail in the Layers panel, and then adjust the settings in the Properties panel that opens. To delete the effect altogether, make sure the black and white adjustment layer is active in your Layers panel, and then tap the Delete or Backspace key on your keyboard. Now choose File, Save, to save your document in Photoshop format to preserve the changes you made in this video. So to recap, in this video you learned how to use the Tilt Shift Blur filter safely and how to reopen it to fine tune its settings. You also learned how to create a black and white image and how to add a custom color tint. In the next video you'll learn how to sharpen your masterpiece, save it with all of your layers intact, and how to save it as a JPEG in order to share it with others.